with another check on the cleanup going around North Texas. You can see in this map just how wide of an impact yesterday's storms had on us here. From Jacksboro all the way up to Grayson County, the damage that we're seeing in some of our hardest hit areas is pretty significant, but it appears that injuries are minimal. And now starts the big cleanup process. Tiffany Liu is in Jacksboro this afternoon to continue our team coverage. Hey there, Tiffany, how are things out there? Yeah, Damon, there is so much damage here at Jacksboro Elementary School. I kind of want to walk you through what happened and what uh, city leaders and school leaders tell me what happened. If you look here, you can see there are a few cars that are turned over. It completely rolled over, actually, extremely damaged. A lot of these vehicles actually belong to parents who were waiting to pick up their kids from the elementary school. The storm was coming too fast, and so they actually told parents to go inside the building. Let's pan over this way, Sam, and just show them. This is what the tornado, the EF3 tornado that the National Weather Service has now confirmed did to the building. Luckily, these parents went inside and took shelter with the children and with the faculty. There were approximately 400 people in the hallway is what we're understanding. And this morning, Police Chief Scott Haynes, he actually walked us inside the elementary school. He talks about how it was a huge moment of relief when he saw all of the children in their safe. We know we got to go down here because that's where the safe hallway is. So we're, hey, let's push forward. So we start walking through here and watch, watch your step. Uh, to have, you know, one of the first students that, that I ran into literally grabbed me by my leg and hugged up on my leg, you know, and it's a good feeling to know that everybody's okay. Now the school has engineers out here today assessing the safety of the building. The superintendent does hope to resume classes by Monday for both the elementary and the high schools that were damaged. Now, a lot of was destroyed out here, but they do believe that the academic classrooms will be safe for Monday's return. Let's send it back to you, Damon.